Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses. Today we're going to be talking about pomegranates. In particular, pomegranates that grow in pots and can be grown in pots for um, fruit and for flowers. So there are a couple things that um, restrict us growing pomegranates here in New England. One is our temperatures are much too cold for the winter times. Uh, pomegranates can take it down into the um, 20s, maybe even the teens, but not here in New England where we go below zero. And also, um, we need to have the ability to um, winter them over and then give them the critical chill that allows them to uh, produce fruit. So, in the world of pomegranates, there are pomegranates that will actually flower in tropical areas. There are some large fruiting varieties, but the fruit is really almost inedible. It's mostly seed and very little um, flesh around it. And then there are pomegranates that need fairly long chill periods of 400, 600, 800 hours of temperatures below 40 degrees uh, during the dormancy in order to get uh, flower production on them. And that really is the critical thing in growing them. The warmer ones generally don't have good quality fruit. However, um, there are some what we call low chill varieties that have worked here for us in New England. And this particular one, which is called Big Red, came out of South Florida. It has a fruit that um, gets almost as big as that which is in the store, a little bit smaller, probably would if it was in the ground. Gotta remember pots do restrict plants a little bit. This has delicious sweet fruit on it. Uh, fruit gets very red inside. It has a, quite a low chill. It's probably the lowest chill edible variety that um, we found. And you can see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. A plant like this would probably not grow any more than six fruit, um, being that it's in a container and the root system is restricted. So this plant actually, which has come out of dormancy in the springtime, covers itself with orange flowers. The first flowers are um, not the ones that carry the ovaries or um, are female. It's the later ones that actually produce the fruit. So you'll get an abundance of flowers in the beginning and then later there's this another crop of flowers that come out that actually um, contain the fruit. So don't be concerned if all your flowers are falling off and no fruit is being held. This plant here um, goes into a dormancy like most pomegranates in the uh, fall, drops all its leaves, it's deciduous, and then we put it into a cold greenhouse where temperatures are kept just about at freezing or a little bit below freezing. And reliably, this one, Big Red, and another variety called Eve, um, has been very good at producing fruit for us, edible fruit in the north. In growing container pomegranates, we use the standard potting mix for them. We do fertilize them during their growing season with a balanced fertilizer on pretty much a constant basis. You can use a liquid feed or you can top dress. And then it's just a matter of managing the water on them um, throughout the growing season. They're actually a pretty easy to grow plants. There really are very few pests that affect uh, pomegranates. Um, Really, their root systems are very strong, so the disease is not an issue. There are some problems with the fruit in the north here where we have a lot of humidity. Um, they kind of get a, a browning or a calyx rot on the fruit, which can actually uh, damage the fruit before it ripens. Um, and we also have problems sometimes with them splitting, and that's really a water issue. Too much, too little water um, as they're grown in containers. So thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on growing um, one of our most famous antioxidant fruits, the pomegranate. And if you'd like a little more information on this, you can go to our website at logies.com.